what is good everybody you already know who it is you know what time it is man we are at a totally 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 something totally different than we usually do on the channel man we out here at cape charles salt water we brought the yak out got the old town out today probably gonna be doing a lot of bottom fishing maybe maybe some moving baits i don't know what we're gonna catch out here guys there's spot croaker drum bluefish uh flounder it's all types of fish out here and we don't know what we're going to catch but hopefully we get on some i appreciate you guys for tuning in man that being said let's get it all right guys we are headed to there we're gonna go and fish that bridge hopefully we can find something to tie up to and just post up in the shade throw some bottom rigs down and hopefully we can start catching them that's the chesapeake bay bridge tunnel right there and i think this is part of it too i'm not quite sure but usually in salt water you know bridges the pylons and all that stuff be loaded with fish so we're gonna head over there we've been pedaling for i don't know maybe about 15 20 minutes in the yak already but we're gonna try to get over there and see if we can't catch some fish up under this bridge all right guys you want to talk about <laughs> talk about a difficult 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 journey in a kayak this is it right here because this water the current is ripping through here so hard man it's it's so difficult to hold position and even get in a spot where i can even i gotta get so close to this to this pylon and drop this thing down like if i even catch one fish right now look at this current if i catch one fish just one i'll be satisfied for the day where are you trying to go, bro? Uh, all right, let's try it again. Fish on guys, fish on. Yes sir, yes sir. Let's go, let's go. Let's go baby. Big old sheep's head. That's what I'm talking about boy. Let's go. Yes sir. Look at that sheep's head guys. Yes sir baby. Dinner, we got dinner. Yes, yes, yes. Got one. Yes, sir. I'm excited about that, guys. I'm gonna try to hold this position, but this guy's going in the cooler. That's what I'm talking about, man. Perseverance pays off. All right, let me see if I can gather, gather myself. I'm staying right here. I'm not going nowhere. Guys, first saltwater fish out the Chesapeake Bay. Sheep's head, baby. Sheep's head, baby. First one. Let's go, man. Let's go. I'm excited about it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can get them in the cooler. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good, good eating.
Hey bro, chill. Let's go, man. Let's go, baby. <laughs> first sheep's head, first. That's my PB sheep's head because I've never caught one before. Guys, I'm excited about that. I'm super excited about that. I didn't think I was going to catch no fish. But now we I think we got a technique down. So we're going to see if we can't catch three more of those. Three more, we got a four fish limit. All right, guys. So. I caught a, I caught one off camera. <clears throat> For some reason, I wasn't recording, but we are getting these sheep head things down. We're getting them. We getting down, man. We got two more to catch, man. Then we'll we'll have a decent decent meal, man. But we're gonna see if we can't catch them. Catch a few more, and it, it's it's great, man. For real. I just went over here to that wood right by the channel and literally dropped this thing for five seconds, dropped it down, counted to five and just held it. And as soon as I stopped, he boom, hammered it. So I'm going right back over there. Let me get another crab ready. But the current, you see in two minutes, the current pushed me all the way down here. We've got two decent sheep's head though. We just need two more and we'll limit out on sheep's head and we run it tight on time 745 we got another hour before i gotta be back over here but we're fishing right up under the chesapeake bay bridge tunnel guys right up under it let's see if we can get a couple more might want to wait for this huge boat Y'all doing any good? Yeah. Good. Y'all some savages though. I don't know about getting on top of the dang on nah. I ain't with all that. I, I think I'm gonna stay in my vessel, you know? What's that? Now hell no, nah. why would I tell him that? <laughs> Y'all catching them real good though? Well, it's my first time going after sheep's head, so. I've caught two in the last two hours, so I feel like that's an accomplishment. I feel good about it. And I know they're going to taste great. That's what I hear anyway. Okay, good. Awesome. You guys have a good time, man. All right, let's see if we can get another good drop on this thing. Right up here in this little eddy. <sighs> See if we can not get one. I mean, literally right on it. Yep, 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 yep. Right here. All right, and that's it. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Pay it all. Ooh. Ooh. This is a big one. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, oh, hey, 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 bro. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Just relax. You're not going nowhere, boy. You going, you going on the table. You're going on the table, buddy. Uh, man first drop right back in that same spot guys killing it <clears throat> ah cramping cramping about to, ah shit yeah just massive cramp in my leg just now massive cramp oh lord whoo whoo 
Woo. What is up, beautiful people? Here's the next morning, and we are about to get into these sheep's head. We're going to fillet them up. We're going to cook them. I think I'm going to grill them. I don't know what's the best method. I think maybe grill. I want to try some grilled. They might be good, but it's about 6.30 in the morning right now. I'm going to fillet these right now, and maybe, maybe after I fillet, I'll go down to the to the beach and see if I can catch them more off the surf. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but um, yesterday was freaking amazing, dude. I, I've i never caught these fish before and it was so turbulent and man, it was a blast. Getting in there, persevering, and actually catching these fish, man. I wanted to catch them so bad. I finally got into those pylons. You guys seen on the video, man. It it was crazy. It's pretty insane the way that I had to get in there and catch them. Never done that before. So that's another first, guys. If you want to see some more saltwater videos from me, please leave that down in the comment section. Tell me, you know, leave saltwater and a thumbs up so I know that we need to come back out here and get some more saltwater fish. I heard these fish taste great. So we're going to get to filleting. We're not going to cook them right now, but we're going to fillet them up and maybe we'll have time to go down and catch some more fish from we have to get out of this little campground here. All right, guys. See if we can fillet one of these things. And these guys have a really pronounced rib cage. So we got to go down fillet up inside here come on down and then try to go over top of the rib cage because if this is all rib cage right here they these guys just eat nothing but crabs and crustaceans and all that so they got a very pronounced rib cage so we're gonna do our best and see if we can't get a good good fillet out of this thing man and of course I'm using my Rapala electric knife it's the best so far Oh, whatever you There we go. Right there, right there, like that. Get one good little cut coming this way. All the way to his rib cage. There we go. And the hard part is getting on top of this dang old rib cage. Oh, I'm in it. There we go. Go. Got a little bit of meat left right here. That's just so hard to get over top of this rib cage. I mean, I ain't stressing it too bad. We left this little bit. 
But that's essentially how you fillet them. Same thing as everything else. Then we come down here like that. There we go. Yeah, guys, them fillets. Them fillets got some nice fillets, guys. Now we just gotta cook them up. Let's go. All right, guys. It's about that time, man. We we getting ready to check out, but we definitely gotta eat these fish before we leave out of here. So I just got some regular old Kingsford charcoal to start it up. And we got some plant-based, some plant-based sterno charcoal lighter gel. We're gonna try this out, see what it was. I'm a big fan of just regular lighter fluid or I'll get the mesh light. But today, this is what we working with. So we're gonna go ahead and get this charcoal in, get this fire started, and we're gonna, we're gonna cook these fish, man. It's, it should be pretty dope. We're gonna keep it real simple. We got some seasoning and we got some butter. We're gonna dredge this thing. I'll show you what's going on in one second. Let's get this started. She's ready to go. Like I said, guys, we're going to keep this super, super simple. We got some butter, Lando Lakes butter. What is this? Olive oil and sea salt. And then we got some Spice King gourmet seafood seasoning we are running short on time we have to get out of here grills almost ready so we're just gonna cook these fish really quick give a taste test to the fam and we're gonna see how it tastes they say it's supposed to taste like uh lobster so we're gonna see sheep's head let's get it all right guys we then took orlando lakes and made a nice little little liquid formation of the butter so then what we're gonna do, we're gonna just take this bag. We got a bag of our fillets right here. The sheep's head fillets are right in here. We're just gonna dump some of that butter in here, coat them real evenly, put them on aluminum foil, then throw them on the grill. And you know, four or five minutes, they should be done. So let's do that. It's in here. Dump a little bit of that in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Just drop some of this butter on here so we won't have a sticky aluminum thing for the fish to stick on. Do not want that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, now we're going to dump some of this Spice King Gourmet Seafood. We're going to sprinkle some of that on these. On one side. Then when this side is about three and a half minutes in, we'll go ahead and flip it over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Things looking good. Looking good. Looking real good. Real, real good. All right, guys. We got our finished product right here. And man, it looks delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We got our official taste tester coming in he's gonna grab a piece it's really it's really really hot okay 
So get you a piece in there. Tell me what you think. Excellent, right? It's A1. good. A1, that oh, is man. great stuff, yeah, man. It's good, right? That is awesome. <laughs> well done, my friend. Dap it up. That's awesome. Good. Thank you so much for yeah, sharing. Ain't no problem, man. You can get another piece oh. if you want some. So that's the first taste test. We got the family up next. We're going to see how they like this sheep's head. If you guys got more ways to cook this sheep's head or you want me to try a different way or you want me to do more saltwater videos, just leave it down in the comment section, man. We, we turning up. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, we got the whole gang here. We're about to dig in to the sheep's head and see. We're going to get their reaction and see what they think about it. All right, guys. Yes, they know you, Ava the angler. They know you. That's Amar. That's my mother, my sister, and my other sister. Oh, she takes 90 eons. It's, it's kind of stuck. You might need a spoon. Mm -hmm. I need yeah, it's super flaky. Flake. Throwing all the flakes everywhere. <laughs> here, put your bowl up here. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like they say, it tastes like that shellfish. It tastes like a lobster. Bit like crab and lobster. Yes. Yeah. Right, it's, oh, you ain't gonna taste it. Allie. It's good. Party foul right here. Ma'am. Can you taste it? Tighten mm. up, please. I love it. Good. That's great. Good. Good. Worth the trip. You like it, Amara? It's good? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just oh, it's good. No. It's One more face. Uh, swell up. Mm. Two swells is going to be. All right, guys. Well, there yeah. you have it. Oh, I got to get my piece. You oh. like it too, Ella? <laughs> mm -hmm. You forgot. And really. wow, butter it too. You put a lot of butter on it. We do have some scavengers. <laughs> it do taste good. Hmm. And now it do taste good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> This mm, yeah, Bussin. definitely. Bussin', for real. Definitely a missile. I want to send a big shout out to everybody that's tuned in and watch this. Please go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Leave your boy a thumbs up. And until next time, keep them lines wet because it's all about the hook set. Let's get it.